It's open for me for the last time for Talking Pints. I am joined by the wonderful Maggie Oliver, founder of the Maggie Oliver Foundation, an organisation that empowers and supports the victims and survivors of sexual abuse. Maggie, cheers. My first white wine guest. Cheers, Lawrence. How are you doing? Uh, I'll be a lot better after this. Mm. <laughs> Can I ask you a question, which has always bothered me? Mm -hmm. Why do they call them grooming gangs when they're not grooming gangs? Because I think that language has been... It is important and it plays down the magnitude of what these abusers, they are rapists and they are destroying lives of countless children. So grooming um, really doesn't do justice to what they do because, you know, the, the work that I do now in, in the Maggie Oliver Foundation, we're trying to help victims and survivors put their lives back together every single day. And the damage that child abuse does to any child that goes through it um, is actually, in, in many ways, um, it will stay with that person forever. Um, but they are rapists. And because we, 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 we've interacted on TV before, and, and you made this point, which is stuck in my head to this day, which is you said you can't deal with a problem unless you name the problem unless you say, this is what is happening and this is who is doing it. Yeah. Why are we so frightened in this country to turn around and say, this is what is happening and this is who is doing it? Because I think we tiptoe around the truth. I, I remember, you know, um, I gave 16 years of my life to being a police officer. I believe in justice. I believe in the criminal justice system. But what I saw was, I couldn't believe what I was, saw, uh, what I was seeing. Um, and... When I first started to speak out, um, nobody would refer to the ethnicity of the offenders in the grooming gangs. What I would say is that at the foundation, we deal with um, child abusers from all kinds of ethnicities, whether it's in the family, whether it's an uncle or a teacher or, a, you know, but the grooming gangs, which is what they're called, they are predominantly Pakistani Muslim men. And, and I remember being on the Today programme with John Humphreys and they were always referred to as Asian grooming gangs. Um, and I pulled him up and I said, John, they are really not. They're not from Japan and they're not from Thailand. They are predominantly Pakistani Muslim um, men from a particular part of Pakistan. And I believe that we, in order to change things and put them right, we first of all have to acknowledge where the problem is. And if we are not even going to speak that truth, then how are we ever going to address it? I want to open up the conversation within that community. Um, I mean, in the foundation, we are actually supporting some women who are being abused within their own community. They are terrified of coming to us, um, but they will not go to the police because they are um, stigmatised. They are... It's a really complicated situation. But we're not very much further on now than we were 10 years ago, except now we have awareness. And if there's one thing that um, I think I'm fairly proud of is that I opened up this subject to the country. The drama three girls that, you know, I was the programme consultant on, um, it doesn't go far enough. It lets the police off very easily. It lets the CPS off very easily. But what it did do, it educated the country in what was happening to generations of young white girls throughout mostly the north of England. And I think that that was the first step. We still have chief constables. We still have those at the top of these organisations still trying to say these are problems of the past. These are historical problems. Everything now is hunky-dory. Well, I'm telling you and anybody who's listening, that is not true because every single day in the foundation we're not only supporting survivors who are long since beyond the criminal justice system, we're approached every day by victims who today are going to the police and trying to get their um, rapists prosecuted. Um, they struggle. Um, we all know that policing and the criminal justice system is in a complete and utter mess. There's a lack of training. There's not enough investment. But there's um, also an obsession 